Hi, it's Miss Chris. How are you today? I'm here today to read you a book called The Bee Man. I see it's a little boy right here and his cat and there's lots of bees buzzing around. And on the back, I see an older gentleman with glasses and also I see bees floating around. And back here it says, where does honey come from? Hmm. And what is a drone bee? Hmm, these are questions that I don't really know the answer to right now, but maybe after I read the book, I'll find out. So, how do you feel about bees? Everyone sort of has an opinion. Some people kind of steer clear of them. Well, we'll see. Let's, let's open the book and see what's happening. Oh, the first thing I see is a poem right here, and it's called Bees. So let's listen to what the poem says. This poem is by Eileen Fisher. There wouldn't be sunflowers, wouldn't be peas, there wouldn't be apples on apple trees if it weren't for fuzzy old, buzzy old bees dusting pollen from off of their knees. Hmm, oh wow. Aileen Fisher, she's saying that there wouldn't be flowers if we didn't have bees. Hmm, so I guess that would be pretty important. All right, well this is called The Bee Man and it's written by Lori Krebs and it's illustrated by Valeria Sis. I see some bee houses over here. Hmm. All right, here's a little boy and his grandpa and their cat. Here is my grandpa, who's known in our town as the Bee Man. Here is his jacket with zipped up hood that covers his face just the way that it should when he visits his hives as the Bee Man. So he has to put a special suit on to protect him in case that he were to get stung, he has to be protected. All right, now he's putting on these yellow gloves. Okay, and here are his gloves made of cotton and leather, protecting his hands in all kinds of weather when he tends to his hives as the bee man. All right, this is what we saw on the front, okay. Here is the beehive where all the bees sleep, tucked into a box called a shallow or deep and then placed on a stand by the bee man. The little boy has a suit on too, that's smart. Okay, he's holding this machine and I'm seeing puffs of smoke coming out of it as grandpa is opening up these bee boxes. Here is the smoker that calms down the bees and a hive tool that opens the beehive with ease for a much closer look by the bee man. So he's going in to see what's happening in there. If you've ever seen a beehive, it's very interesting. Ooh, so now they gave us a close up look of what's happening in there. So I see a lot of bees around and I see a bigger bee in the middle. So let's see what it says. Here is the queen bee who does her job well and lays tiny eggs in a six-sided cell. She's the heart of the hive, says the bee man. So here are the little cells, one, two, three, four, five, six-sided cell that she's gonna lay her eggs in. And these are all the drone bees around her. Oh, that's what he's saying right here. So the grandpa's saying, here are the drone bees with big bulging eyes and a large appetite supporting their size. They mate with their queen, adds the bee man. There she is in the middle. And all the bees are around her. Okay, let's look there. Now we're we can see that all the bees are on these um, sheets inside the box. Here are the workers, 10,000 or more, who gave the nectar 
to bring back and store in honeycomb cells for the bee man. Here are the house bees with swift moving wings that dry up the nectar a worker bee brings, making honey for me and the bee man. So I see that all different types of bees have their jobs. House bees and worker bees and drones. All right, and the queen. Okay. Did we I missed the page, I think. Oh no, got it, got it. Here we go. That's the next one. So now it looks like they're in the house. And here's a, some kind of a machine here. And here's the name of it. It's called an extractor. Here's the extractor. It's clickety-clack, removing the honey from frames on its rack and filling up jars for the bee man. So he's taking the honey now, and it's coming out here into the bucket, Then they're gonna pour it into the jars. And we're back outside again. He's carrying a cup. Here's some of the honey returned to the hive. So he's bringing some of the honey back. It's food for the bees to help them survive. The long winter days near the bee man. So the bees do need some honey, so you can't take it all. Here are the bees protected from harm. Inside the hive, snuggled and warm. So they'll be here next year, says the bee man. Oh, he covers his hives. It looks like a, a blanket with rope around it to make them nice and warm, to keep them nice and warm. All right, now here's the little boy and his grandpa. Here is the wagon filled up to the brim with bottles of honey collected by him and brought to the house by the bee man. Oh. His grandma. Here are the muffins, all warm and delicious, and the dr and dripping with honey on Grandma's best dishes. Ooh, they're gonna get to eat something delicious that's made with honey. That's nice after working so hard. I'm glad that my grandpa's the bee man. Hmm. So here, they're showing us different things. Bees belong to the insect family. They have six legs and three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have two pairs of wings, two antenna, and compound eyes that let them see in all different directions. Mm hmm Bees live in large groups called colonies. A colony of bees has one queen and several hundred drones and then 10,000 workers. The queen bee has a slender body and is longer than the other bees. She is also the mother of them all. Her job is to lay eggs. In the spring's busy season, she lays between one and 2,000 eggs every day. The drone bees are male bees. They have huge black eyes and plump bodies. They don't work inside the hive or collect nectar and pollen. They mate with the queen bee. And here are the worker bees. The worker bees are female and they have many different jobs. Sometimes they feed the larvae and, tiny, and tidy up the hive, or they create wax and use it to make cells. Sometimes they groom the queen and give her a rich protein food called royal jelly. 
or they protect the hive from enemies by standing guard at the entrance. Sometimes they leave the hive to gather nectar or pollen. Their jobs depend on the whatever the colony needs. All right. So this was a very, very interesting book. Hmm. The Bee Man. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have a chance to take this out of the library, you can really read. There's a lot of in-depth stuff in the back of the book. I hope you enjoyed that. So long for now.